Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Automatron DLC for Fallout 4. This video is going to be a guide on a unique energy pistol, the Salvaged Assaultron Head. And of course, to do any of this you do need the Automatron DLC installed. So once the DLC is installed you will need to be on the quest headhunting to gain access to the required areas. Once on the quest headhunting we will need to come to the Fort Hagen Satellite Array, which is found in the Midwest border of the map. To get inside we will need to come up onto this platform and use this terminal to unlock the security door below. Once that security door is open, we will have access to the hatch that we must enter. Both the inside and outside of Fort Hagen's satellite array are covered in both very dangerous robots and rust devils. So be sure to come fully prepared for a fight. Pretty much as soon as we enter, if we turn to our left, we will see a door with a red light behind it. Underneath that red light is the chest we need to access. However, the only way to get there is to go through the entirety of this dungeon, as the access terminal is on the other side. So after the final fight, Fight with Ivy, we need to head through this door on our left and keep heading straight ahead to the red light. As stated earlier, underneath this red light is the steamer trunk with the goods. First item on the menu is the Salvaged Assaultron Head. Be sure to grab it. As always, before looking at the base stats of the Salvaged Assaultron Head, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the Salvaged Assaultron Head. So it has a base energy damage of 35. It uses the fusion cells as ammunition, its fire rate is 11, its range is 93, its accuracy is 65, its weight is 8, and its value is 40. Up the top in the middle, salvaged a Sultron head. Charged by reloading repeatedly, the more charges, the higher the damage. Irradiates user. The salvaged a Sultron head can also not be upgraded or modified in any way as it has no mod slots. So a very strange weapon that definitely needs some looking into. Luckily, I am here for that. So if you reload it once, it would charge it once, if you reload it twice, it would charge it twice, and so on until five times. The damage is also multiplied by how many charges you have. So five charges does five times the damage. Now if you shoot one off while unprotected, you will have a child. You will also cop 50 radiation poisoning which on the face of it makes this weapon look like a piece of shit. But in the case of this weapon, you can polish a turd. To make this weapon more viable and user friendly, I would suggest getting the perks rad resistant. All three points will give you an additional 30 radiation resistance. With this alone, you can cut down the radiation poisoning per shot from 50 to 30, negating the negative effect by 40%. Another negation tool is to wear armor that has plenty of radiation resistance. Just with this hazmat suit, I could get the radiation poisoning down from 50 to 8. Another option would be to use Rad X before firing the gun, greatly reducing the radiation poisoning delivered to you, the player. Another superb perk that goes with this weapon is the Ghoulish Perk. Once again, I would suggest all three points. Provided you max the Ghoulish Perk out, you will now be healed for 150% of the Rad's poisoning you receive. As you'll see here, I'm taking 30 points of Rad's poisoning, however, at the same time I'm being healed 45 points of health. So having the Ghoulish Perk actually makes the Assaultron Head quite viable in combat. I apologize for this footage being sped up, but screw watching the whole fight sequence. Just keep an eye on my health bar down in the bottom left corner of the screen. The only med I used for this whole fight was one rad away, which took away the rads over time and each time I fired I was healed and then the rads was instantly gone once again, essentially turning the salvaged Assaultron head into a healing gun. So with the use of the ghoulish perk, I was able to quite noticeably heal myself during this fight, preventing me from dying and preventing me from using stim packs. Even outside of combat, if you consume one rad away, you can use the Salvaged Assaultron Head to heal your character, provided of course that you have the Ghoulish Perk. And I'm not quite too sure how this actually works in combat, but when you fire the Salvaged Assaultron Head once, it actually hits 8 separate times. As demonstrated on screen now, you will see 8 separate hit points when I fire the gun once. Each beam alone might deliver the shown base damage. This would mean that if you shoot an enemy that is standing quite still, and they are hit with all 8 beams fired at once, they could actually be taking 8 times the shown damage of this salvaged assault on head. If this is the case, that would explain a lot of the instant kills that you will be seeing on screen, and would make the weapon a much more formidable force than we first thought, especially after taking into account that you can charge it up to five times doing five times the damage, this could actually be one of the most powerful weapons in the game. So as we know, the salvaged assault on head is a unique pistol type energy weapon that as the name suggests, consists of little more than a severed head of an assault run, which has been converted into a powerful handheld laser. In true Fallout style, it lacks a proper grip, having you, the player, grip it by the spine and neck 
cabling. I'm sure as many of you will find quite sad, unlike an actual Assaultron's head, which fires a continuous laser beam for a few seconds, the severed head only emits a pulse for less than a second, dealing significantly less damage than a true Assaultron's head. As demonstrated earlier, it is similar to the laser musket, as it must be charged before firing by manually reloading the weapon. This can be done up to five times for each shot, increasing the damage with each extra charge. For each charge, it will burn one ammunition. If you charge it five times, it will consume five fusion cells when fired. Also, when the weapon is sheathed, it will maintain however many charges it had before sheathing. So the only way to reset the amount of charges is by firing the weapon. In terms of VATs, the weapon can be charged to the wanted level prior to VATs with no additional action point cost. The following attacks in the same VATs sequence will default to one charge. Unlike the laser musket, however, charging the Assaultron head involves no visible action by the shooter. However, the faceplates open up and the weapon glows a brighter shade of red as it is charged. Unsurprisingly, the animations of the weapon are nearly identical to those of live Assaultrons when charging their head laser weapon. Although the salvaged Assaultron head is unique in many ways, it is most unique in the fact that it is the only energy weapon in the game that directly injures the shooter as well as their target, as we know with those huge doses of radiation poisoning. Something else you should know is that it will deliver the same amount of radiation poisoning to you the player regardless of the charge level. The weapon model is a little bit ridiculous, it just about takes up one third of the entire screen, so half the time you can't even see what you're shooting at. The salvaged Assaultron head is definitely a weapon for occasional use. I would most certainly not recommend this for your go-to gun, as it's just an all-round goofy weapon. There are also some bugs with this weapon at one point while trying to demonstrate how much radiation damage you take from shooting it, my character was taking no radiation damage from shooting it. Also, throwing a grenade when armed with a salvaged Assaultron head will sometimes irradiate the user as if they had fired it, and sometimes the Assaultron head will never hit anything in VATS regardless of displayed hit chance. Even criticals will miss completely. So far, the only fix I have been able to discover is by reloading an older save. Unlike the Protectron's gaze, someone better find Harry and Hermione quickly, as this weapon will assault Ron. My head will need to be salvaged after it's cut off for making that joke. And here it is, the salvaged Assaultron head in action. And there you have it, there is my guide to the salvaged Assaultron head. Not only how to find it, but how it can actually be made viable and usable in game. And I do hope that this video thoroughly helped you. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides similar to this one, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.